Are you looking for a bit of kitchen inspiration? If you are, make sure you check out ProChefGearPlus.com. They've got aprons and chef coats and hats and spices and marinades and cookbooks and even knives. Go on, get some cool knives from them. If you want to get a 15% discount off your order of $50 or more, use discount code Kimberly from Cooking with Kimberly. Kimberly, that's K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y. Make sure you get on out there, check out what they've got, be a champion in your kitchen. ProChefGearPlus.com. Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I am making a pulled pork. I'm making pulled pork for dinner and what I've done is I've already done a quick brine on this pork loin. Again, it, didn't, it wasn't an overnight thing. I didn't have time for that. I did a quick brine. You'll see how to do that. Make sure you check out the video. You'll know what I'm talking about. So this has been brined for two hours. It's taken out. It's washed. It's patted dry with paper towels. And now I'm about to put a rub on. I'm going to put a dry rub on before I throw it in the oven. It's going to be delicious and awesome. So we're going to move this to the side, okay? Into a small bowl that's not wet. For some reason that's wet. In a dry bowl, <laughs> we're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, okay? Next, we are going to add, can't get this open, mommy? What is it? The smoked paprika. Oh. <laughs> now, this is smoked paprika. If you have not tried smoked paprika, you need to try it. Regular paprika has relatively new, regular, I call it regular, has relatively no flavor profile that you buy at your grocer. Sorry, it doesn't. Uh, smoked paprika has all kinds of flavor. Um, Hungarian paprika, very spicy, all kinds of flavor. But the plain old, you know, regular paprika you get in this big giant, they don't have much flavor. It's mostly for pretty color, I think. Anyway, this has lots of flavor. This is a um, sweet variety of La Chinata's smoked paprika powder. This is imported from Spain. I did not get this at my grocer. Just like I said, I got it from Qualifirst online. It's qualifirst.com and that's Qualifirst Foods. They are based out of Toronto um, and super fast shipping. They're the bomb, they're awesome. I'm actually gonna sip this because sometimes when you know spices come out, they can have little chunks. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, but I'm using a teaspoon because the tablespoon doesn't fit in here. About a tablespoon of this stuff, okay? In it goes. Exactly. See, that's why you sift. Because look at all those little balls of stuff that were stuck. Now you have to just push them through. And now you have no chunks, okay? So there's that. And then I'm also going to add salt. I think I'm going to add... Mm. I don't want to add a whole boatload of salt, okay? So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt. I know that's a lot for me, actually. Bear with me. I know this is a it's just a rub. So in goes the salt, okay? I'm also going to put just a tiny bit of pepper, just regular ground pepper, the small variety. I mean, I guess you can put the other kind if you want. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon, and that's it. All right, so now I'm going to stir this up and I'm gonna use my hands because that brown sugar had some chunks in it, okay? So I'm stirring this up, just mixing it up, breaking everything up with my hands, making sure everything is evenly distributed. Again, this is smoked paprika powder, this is salt, and this is sugar and a little bit of pepper. Now, if you wanted to add garlic and onion and all that stuff, you can, but you can't, won't be able to roast it on such a high temperature in the oven or in your barbecue because it's just going to burn. And when, when garlic and onion get burned or goes too far, it's very bitter. You don't like it. So you won't like it. All right. So this I'm going to use probably just a little bit more than half of this is going to go and be rubbed into my pork. The rest is going to be sprinkled on at the very end when I've already pulled apart all the pork and I'm going to season the meat. Got me? So the rest is going to go in there. So I'm, maybe I'll use to, maybe two thirds of this, let's say. Okay. So I'm just going, you have to use your hands. It's called a rub for a reason. You got to rub it in. It's like you're massaging your meat. Okay. All right. On to here. Nice handful. A little bit more. Try not to put your hand in if you've already touched the pork. So pour it into your hand or pour it on to the meat and deal with it that way. So you're just going to pour it in. And what's beautiful about this pork is that 
Before I brined it, it has this nice layer of fat on the top and I scored it with a knife so that you have nice slits and you wanna make sure that you get all that rub all in those little slits. That's what's gonna give you the whole bunch of nice flavor. Again, make sure that you don't uh, contaminate your spices because you're gonna put it in raw, in the, in the meat after it's cooked, just like that. Mom, can you do me a favor? After I'm talking all this mess, can you just grab that bowl and pour some in my hand? Thank you. You may need an assistant. Just Where? quick, doesn't matter. Just grab it. Pour some in my hand. <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful. Awesome. All right, in we go. Make sure on the bottom of this meat now, it looks like all the, the bones and the skin and the cartilage was all um, cut out. So it's kind of uneven on the bottom, which is fine. You want that on the bottom anyway. But make sure that you rub all those spices in really good all over the place. All right, make sure it's super topped. Super good, okay. And right now I've got my oven is preheated to 425 Fahrenheit. Yeah, I know that's a lot, but it's only gonna be in there for um, maybe 30 minutes on that high. Okay, so this is what my meat looks like now. All beautifully seasoned and rubbed. Look at all that, it's beautiful. Anyway, that's it, that's all. That's how you make a dry rub for pork loin so that you can make pulled pork. It's gonna be delicious. Anyway, if you need more of this stuff and you've eyeballed it or whatever, then just make some more of the dry rub and you're good to go, all as well. All right, everybody, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly and my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. I hope you guys eat deliciously. I need to wash my hands. Be a champion in your kitchen. Bye.